Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. You may well notice as well, I am a little bit croaky. I am just about trying to fight off the lurgy, which is sod's law because I haven't been ill for ages. Uh, today is Wednesday, we go away Friday, fly out eight o'clock Friday morning. So if I do end up ill, it's sod's bloody law, isn't it? But hopefully I'm gonna fight it off. So you'll just have to put up with the WWE wrestling voice that I've got on at the moment, me uh, macho man Randy Savage. Uh, right, we are back with another beer review. By the time you read the thumbnail, you'll know exactly what's coming up. Uh, but in this one, we are heading off over to the Perfect Draft Pro over there. And a keg that was probably released a good 12 months ago, I would guess. Uh, and it's from Vocation. And it's a beer I had before in a can, uh, but not adding keg at all. So uh, we're going to review that one. And like I say, it's from Vocation, and this is their Hop Skip Juice Pale Ale coming in at 5.7%. Uh, Price-wise, normally £41.90. Uh, I refused to buy it until it was on offer because I'm a tight bugger. So I got it with 15% off. Brings it in, I think, at £35.60. Then you get your £5 discount for your keg. And then I got points for, you know, for the money I actually spent. So... You know, it's coming in at about, I don't know, it's coming in at about 30 quid a keg uh, for 10 and a half pints for 5.7% beer that hopefully is very good. So it's in the machine, put it in yesterday, set at four degrees because that's what they recommend. Uh, so yeah, we'll get over there, do a video of the pour, come back and uh, take it from there. So let's get going. So I've had nothing out of this. Uh, it's going in the vocation pint glass. So let's give it a pour, see what we get. Bound to be a bit wild, bound to have a massive head. But hey ho, shit happens. And it's got more than a massive head, it's got a fucking humongous head. We're back. That pour went well, didn't it? That was a typical first pour. Why I don't pour a bit out, I never know. It's just the way I am. I like to do it like that. Uh, like to go in blind because you'll end up tasting it when you uh, hopefully as well no cold has come out or anything so hopefully it's just a croaky throat and nothing else so hopefully I'm going to be able to taste everything and pick everything up uh, in this beer spear in a glass there we go <laughs> there's not an awful lot of beer in this glass there is probably as much head as there is beer in there because there we go there's the pint line you can see that but it's a hazy little number, looks quite juicy. It's gotta be said, sort of orange looking thing. We got a good four fingers of compact white head. I can live with that. It's only gonna to turn to beer in the end. So looks decent. Let's dive in on the nose, <laughs> try and dive in on the nose. Oh yeah. Pineapple, mango, passion fruit. And quite punchy on them, them aromas as well. It's not one of them thin sort of tropical pineapple sort of noses it, it it feels quite punchy on the nose hoppy yeah that's about it it just smells like a juice bowl uh with some hop aroma so without further ado let's dive in vocation hop skip juice pale ale coming in at 5.7 percent let's give it a taste i'm dry i'm thirsty this better be good cheers Well, certainly first impressions. First impressions. Granted, it's got a big head on it, so it may change a little bit after that, but first impressions, that's fantastic. That is lovely. Body is beautiful. I have no doubt the big head on this beer is aiding that body. It's making it feel a bit more fuller and creamier, but it really is nice. Oh, beautiful body, yeah. Minimal carbonation, really, really smooth, nice and soft. Excuse me with the burps, do apologize. Five point seven percent. You really don't. Well, 
you really you you don't get it you don't get it what what you get is a little a backdraft of something that makes makes you think it's a stronger beer but it drinks like an absolute dream for 5.7 percent uh excuse me uh for 5.7 percent uh it drinks like an absolute dream. You wouldn't know you are drinking 5.7%. On the taste, nice big hit of pineapple and passion fruit. A little bit of a, a teasing mango flavour in the background, I think. little bit of orange citrus I'm gonna say you do get nice hot notes as well don't get me wrong I get that the flavors are there from the hops but you do get that little hoppy flavor as well uh, rather than just fruit and that I'm gonna have to go top up in a minute actually I'll pause it so we're back again and just finish that off and we've had a bit of a top up <clears throat> so where was I hoppy Pineapple, passion fruit, mango, a little bit of orange maybe, a nice little hot flavour. A subtle gentle bitterness on the back. But I do wonder. It's really nice, it's refreshing, it is warm weather beer. I mean this is spot on for the summer. We got some lovely weather outside. It's spot on. It tastes lovely. I am just wondering if it's me or not. Whether I'm just picking up a little bit of an artificial taste in there. Maybe. Uh, because some, a, a couple of the notes sort of stand out. Almost squash like if you like. Pardon me. But it is very nice, honestly, it really is. On the back end, yeah, see, for me, the more I drink, it feels like a little bit of an orange squash sort of a uh, taste. But once you've swallowed the back end, you start getting that nice sort of little, you do get a little bready, malty backbone to it, which I found in Life and Death as well. I think when I had it in cans, I just thought it was all hoppy. Once it come out in keg, you really started to pick up the maltiness, the back, the backbone malty, maltiness of it. Uh, and I think you do get a little bit of that with this. It's right on the back end. But, that is really nice. That is, uh, the more I drink, like I said, the more I drink, I am wondering, if there is a little bit of artificial taste in there but <clears throat> and it oh dear I'm kind of going back on myself here now a little bit I'm just wondering if that if you had too much if you had a few of them whether that would catch up with you that sort of little bit of artificial taste I'm not sure it might do uh, if it catches up with you and it gets a little bit cordial tasting I would have to say it, it, it's, you know, you'd be you'd be disappointed, and you probably wouldn't want to drink much more. But at the moment, I can't comment on that so much. Yeah, there does feel a little bit of a a cordial taste. There's a there's a a little bit of an artificial taste to it for me. So it went from being a banger to actually, once my palate is adjusted and everything, to maybe losing a bit of its sparkle. That could just be me, I don't know. Uh, well, I don't know what to say really. It's it's quite interesting. Started out really good. I feel like I'm picking up elements in this beer that aren't so good and maybe a little bit naughty, if you like. Uh, but the overall drinking experience I'm gonna say is very nice. If everything's authentic in this, and and the flavors are not the the, art, the flavors aren't artificial, I'm a happy chappy. They do feel a little bit. If they are, it's rather annoying. 
but I've got to say it is a very drinkable beer. It may well get tiring once you've had three or four. I don't know. I'm not at that point yet. But Vocation uh, Hop Skip Juice Pale Ale 5.7%. Is it worth a go? I'm going to say it's still worth a go. But, but, there may be some artificial flavours in there. And I feel I'm picking some up. So what I would say is, yeah, maybe give it a go. If you if you if you're quite easy going on that, or you know that there isn't, give it a go. If you're not bothered if there is, give it a go. If you're totally against it, do a bit of research, find out if there is some artificial flavors in there. But you know, because I wouldn't want you to spend your money. But there you go. There's my thoughts on this beer. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Uh, this is the last one I am actually releasing on the day today. Uh, all the rest are all lined up and set for one a day. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. I will do a couple of other beer reviews as well before I go, but they'll be way down the line. We'll be heading into June with them. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully I'm not going to be ill. Look after yourselves and I'll see you again soon on another one. Cheers.